Assalamu alaikum and a very good evening to the respected Mendem Fazila and to all my fellow clique. Before I'm starting my presentation today, I would like to introduce our group member. First, Miss Ani Sorfina, second, Miss Murato Aini, third, Mr. Shafiq, and the last one is Mr. Hazim. Enjoy our presentation. Hi guys, today our group would like to introduce James Q. Wilson on his broken window theories. Let's check it out. Hello, I'm here to share about our most favorite sociality theorist, that is James Wilson. James Wilson is a well-known political scientist who was a key theorist on crime, moral, and family. Wilson was a motivated thinker who was generally associated with neoconservative movement, although his thoughts influenced people all around the world. For more than 50 years, Wilson lectured political science at University of Chicago, Harvard, UCLA, Pepperdine, and also Boston College. Next is the concept of broken window theory. The notion of the broken window is based on a 1982 essay by criminologist James Q. Wilson and George Kering. According to their belief, signals of disturbance will lead to even more chaos. A structure with a broken window that has not been fixed gives the impression that no one cares or is in charge. Because no one seems to care, windows will smash the remainder of the glass and spray graffiti on them. The criminologist broken windows theory contains the persistent visual evidence of crime and antisocial behavior in densely populated urban regions shows a lack of active local law enforcement and encourage offenders to commit further and more serious crimes. A 1982 Atlantic article by George L. Kelling that titled The Police and the Neighborhood Safety was the first to introduce this notion. Next, the contributions James could listen to the discipline of public enemy. The broken window theory of policing suggested that cleaning up the visible signs of disorder like graffiti, littering, panhandling, and prostitutions and would prevent more serious crime as well. The broken window theory has been implemented in several major cities across the United States. For example, in 1984, Rudy Gullin was elected as the mayor of New York. He quickly implemented a broken window theory strategies to smaller amount the life crimes. Okay guys, let's critically analyze the broken window theory. Broken window theory focus on two forms of dysfunction, physical and social. The degree of upkeep for a neighborhood physical environment is represented by physical disorder. Once you start dealing with the little issues in communities, you start to empower local neighborhoods. He claims that such as result in citizens claiming public areas and business caring about what occurs on the street which reduce crime. Let's us critical analyze broken window theories related to Malaysia current situations. Because of pandemic COVID-19 in Malaysia, we can see that MCO 2.0 should aim to repair as many windows as possible. This metaphor may be extended to all levels and provide a sense of urgency to act because problem like pandemic will spread if nothing is done. In conclusion, order repairing broken windows and removing gravity might deter people from indulging in this little act of vandalism that can lead to more serious crimes. As a result, law enforcement officials must be careful in interpreting the broken window theory. Thank you. Created using Powtoon.